ready because these are the craziest Garden of Ban Ban animations ever. We watch the sad origin stories of the Garden of Ban Ban characters like Bambolina, Nab Nab, and more. Yeah, stick around until the end to see a hilarious Ban Ban vs. Bambolina 3D animation. Let's go. Ban Ban. <laughs> that? Oh, he's getting an egg. Wait. Is that the bird's egg? Oh, there's no eggs? What? Is he eating the Ooh. pink bird's eggs? What? Don't eat those eggs. He just... No. Don't. Don't do it. Yeah! <laughs> well, this looks don't, promising. Don't eat those. Don't eat those. Don't. Well, don't. You can't eat this. that. <laughs> what are you doing? Take me up, break. Don't do it. Uh-oh. Bruh. What was that for? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Don't! Mm -hmm. oh. Bruh. Uh oh. <laughs> what? Oh. Huh? He caught him. What's gonna happen? Bruh. Oh no. Let's all be friends. Come on. Oh no. Oh no. Here. This is me being generous. <laughs> this is the sad origin story of Bambolina. Bro, it's the end of chapter two. No! Oh, Bambolina's chasing. Hello, handsome. Uh, hello. Oh, I think wow, guys. Now we're actually going to learn the origin story of Bambolina. I have a huge crush on Bambolina. I don't. No! Hello, handsome. Uh, hello. Oh, I think you might be snooping around places you shouldn't. Please, let me go. And why would I do that? If you do, I'll leave and never come back, I swear. Liar, I know your type. Well, uh, if you're not gonna let me go, what are your secrets? My secrets? <laughs> I'm not sure what you want to know. Bye, since you ask. As a child, all I wanted was to be a star athlete. Bro, that's baby Bambolina. Got it. So we're going to learn how this girl got transformed into Bambolina in this video. Bro. I had the talent and drive to be one. I was a track star, a baseball star, and a volleyball star. Bro. So she was super athletic. She was good at every sport. She was a track star. You know what I mean? Hey, guys, that's lit. I mastered every sport I could to achieve my dreams. I was the pride of our school's athletic department. No one could beat me. And eventually, they stopped trying altogether. Growing up, I always felt like my dreams would come true. Unfortunately, one day, I learned the hard way that it rarely ever works out that way. Whoa, ah! Oh no! Ah! Uh, someone! Uh, help me! No one even knew I was out there. I was too hurt to get up, and I was sure no one would come looking for me. Until, out of nowhere, the school nurse found me. She saved my life! I was injured pretty bad. Of course, I needed more help than the school nurse could provide. But she carried me all the way to her office because I couldn't walk. Wow, that's really nice of the school nurse, guys. That's awesome. So she helped her. She was playing sports and she took a tumble or fell. She got injured, bro. Wow, she got carried just like you guys should carry some Lanky Box merch in Walmart and Target and get it. Let's go. She took care of me until the ambulance arrived. But it turned out that the injury was too bad for me to continue my sports journey. I had to give up everything I'd always dreamed of. I was heartbroken. Sports were my one and only passion in life. Though, in a way, I became inspired. The school nurse saved my life. And if I couldn't be a star athlete, I wanted to be just like her. So, I went to nursing school in hopes to do for others what she did for me. Wow, that's cool. So, guys, this is the sad origin story of Bambolina. That's Bambolina before she was Bambolina. So, she wanted to be an athlete, but then she got injured, and the school nurse took care of her, and now she wants to be a nurse. That's pretty cool. Nursing school in hopes to do for others what she did for me. And the perfect opportunity arose. A local kindergarten hiring for a school nurse? It's exactly what I was looking for. It almost felt too good to be true. <laughs> Silly me. If only I knew then what I know now. 
But not knowing any better, I went to the kindergarten for my interview. And that's where I met him. In that moment, everything changed for good. Hello, I'm Ban Ban, the founder and principal of this kindergarten. It was love at first sight. Oh, oh Brian! What are dude, you doing? that's crazy. What are you doing? Why'd you do that? Why'd I do what? Why'd you do that with your hair, dude? I'm not, I just, I, I don't know, man. I don't. <laughs> Adam wishes he was Ban Ban because then Bambolina would love him. <laughs> Stop, guys. Why'd you do that, bro? Stop. Whatever, 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 man. I just wanted to try she, new hairstyle. She loves Ban Ban. Adam, how does it make you feel, dude? I don't know. I don't know, guys. Let's find out it's what okay. happened. Principal of this kindergarten. It was love at first sight. Ugh. Everything about him was perfect. And I knew we were meant to be. Hi. I'm, uh, hi. I kind of bombed that interview. But I was the only applicant, so I got the job by default. And even if I got off to a rocky start, the parents and children took to me right away. While I appreciated all the love, it wasn't exactly who I wanted it to be from. Oh, my beloved Ban Ban. He still had my heart. Bruh, I, I know this is hard for you to watch, buddy. I'm, not, I'm, I'm getting sad even just watching this here with you. Because yeah. Adam has a huge crush on Bambolina. It's a little bit of a blow. This is Adam's diary. To my heart, guys, but it's okay. This is Adam's diary. I know I don't really have a chance. This is Adam's so it's diary. All right. Hey, wait a minute! Stop Adam, doing Adam, that! Adam drew himself holding hands with Bambolina. Listen, I, I, listen, Adam. All you gotta do is become like Bam Bam and then she'll love you. Right, right, exactly, right, guys. Right, right, right. I don't. Right. Right. I was determined to have his. Somehow he ignored all of the signs. I bought us breakfast every morning. Here you go. I picked up extra just for you. Wow, you're the best friend a guy could get. <sighs> Bro, she got friends on my man, man. That's crazy. Adam got friends on by his own mommy. So guys, my mom has been saying that I am down bad. Yeah. No, I've been saying that. You're down bad. I don't know what that means, but something feels... It means you're a oo-woo baby. <laughs> it means you're a oo-woo baby. Oo-woo. I don't, know, I don't know, guys. Your mom taught me You that. gotta just swing at every pitch, yeah. and you never know what might happen. Yeah. Just for you. Wow, you're the best friend a guy could get. <sighs> I wrote him inspirational notes. Look, I know why you're upset, but there's no way something like that could have happened at my school. There's no monsters here. What's this? Bro, says you're doing great. <laughs> wow. She wrote that for him, Adam. She must really care about him. Man. Yeah, it's it's tough to see this, but it is what it is, guys. Don't yeah. give up, Adam. I was close. I had a chance. You still got a chance. Yeah. And finally, I got more direct. Hey, Ban Ban, would you want to come for dinner tonight? Why, of course I would. Really? Yeah, my friend's in town. He can come along too. It will be all of us buddies hanging out. I thought I was being pretty clear in my intentions, but eventually I realized, despite all my efforts, it wasn't meant to be. I was heartbroken. My dreams of sports fame had been ruined long ago, and now my dreams of true love also seemed impossible to obtain. I felt lost, abandoned, was wrong, too tight? Can I tell you something? Of course. I saw something the other day, and it scared me. There was a strange door at the end of one of the hallways, he said. He'd never seen it before. A heavy metal door always stuck shut and locked. But one day, it was open. And being a young kid, he was curious. So, he walked in. Uh-oh. Nah! He told me he saw monsters. I told him it was just his imagination. But what came next? I don't know how he could have made it up. Yo! Ah! Run! I hoped he just imagined it, but I had a bad feeling. Because the next day, Marcus's parents pulled him from Ban Ban's kindergarten. And he wasn't the only one. 
One by one, Ban Ban's kindergarten became a shell of its former self as children kept leaving with no explanation. Dude, that's crazy. So that person went down the wrong hallway and they saw someone getting turned into Jumbo Josh. That would make me so scared. Bruh. Ban Ban, I know you're in there. I'm busy. Come back later. Ban Ban, there's something seriously wrong. We need to- I said I'm busy. He was no longer leaving his office. I had a feeling he was hiding something. I hated to betray my Ban Ban, but if he wasn't going to help investigate, I'd have to do it alone. So one night, I took matters into my own hands, and I broke in. Thankfully, coming in early and leaving with Ban Ban every day, I'd figured out the lock combination. And strangely enough, Ban Ban left his door unlocked, but I wasn't complaining. I took the master key. I had to find this door I'd heard about. <gasps> Oh, no. No. No, no. Well, there you go. No monsters after all. No. Oh, no. this thing is pretty creepy. Now, now, manners. <coughs> no! No need to be afraid. It's me, your Ban-Ban. You are not my Ban-Ban. What, what, what happened to you? Allow me to show you. What? I shouldn't jump on my ankle, but I guess I have no choice. That's the obby! Ah! No! Ban Ban, I don't know what happened to you, but you're still the same Ban Ban I knew. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? I'm watching the I'm video, man. I'm watching the video. Why I turn back and you got your hair like that and you're doing this? I'm watching the video, man. Dude, stop. Let's keep watching. What's wrong with you, man? That's how you feel inside, right? I keep playing. All right. Whatever. All right. You're good at heart. You, you love people. You, you love children. It, you've never let me get hurt. So pull me up and we can talk about this. <sighs> I knew you'd come around. Ban Ban, what are you... Let go of me. Hey. Let go of me! Bruh. It was too late for me. I know now what the kids had seen. And it was happening to me. I fought as hard as I could. Bruh. But Ban Ban was too strong. Ah! Ew! But if he did that to you against your will, why would you want that to happen to me? Let me just say a true thing right here. Let me say a true thing. Stop trying to be Ban Ban. <laughs> Stop it. I'm not. I'm not, dude. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> trying to be a huge cuss on Lena. Just because she likes Ban Ban. Let me say a true thing. Whatever. This right here. This right here. Uh huh. Adam wishes that was him. <laughs> he does that in his room, man. He makes. I, I'm about to say a true thing. I caught him in 4K. <laughs> he made a Bambolina out of pillows. Dude. And he did that. He put himself up against the wall. No, I didn't. And he did the thing, man. I didn't. To himself, man. Stop! Adam did that. We caught him in 4K. We were that there. was in 4K? Honestly, we were there. We recorded it. You oh. said you were filming that in normal resolution, yeah, not 4K. Yeah, it was 4K. Oh, Foxy! Yeah, Adam was there with the pillow bambolina, bro, doing this, bro. Dude, whatever. That's crazy. Keep, keep That's watching. Crazy. Keep watching. Adam admits he did that, dude. And he's trying to look like me. I'm not. I'm not. This is just how I have my hair nowadays. Like you said to him, you wanted to help people. You're good at heart. That was then. Now I've grown fond of this new body. And besides, it means I get to be alongside my Ban Ban forever. He did save my life after all. And what more could I want than that? Look, if I were you, I'd take a hit and get over him. Huh? Oh. Huh? Ah! Ouch! Run! Uh-oh. Yo! Whoa! Okay, it's the pink bird. <laughs> what? What do you want? Why? <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> it eggs. It eats old eggs. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's a golf ball. You can't eat that. No, it's not an egg. So it's, it'll eat anything. It's eating everything that looks like an egg. Don't eat that balloon. <laughs> he wants the balloon things as an egg. <laughs> I'm not an egg, bro. <laughs> Bruh. Run! Stop! Whew. That was a decoy. Look at that little sauce. 
He thinks it's fake, it's not. Fuck you! Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> No way. Jumbo Josh and Ban Ban. What is it? What's gonna happen? What is that? Ew. Is that, is that? Okay, that's that's Blue Ray. Wait, is that Roblox Doors Eyes? I thought it was a Doors monster. It's Doors Eyes. It's Doors Eyes versus Ban Ban. <laughs> Roblox Doors versus Garden of Ban Ban. No way, guys. All these videos today are insane. They got hypnotized. Don't look. Don't look. No way. This music's insane. Yo! He, he ate the Doors entity. What? What happened to his eye? Oh. Ew. Where's he going? Yo, and Captain Fiddles is lifting. Okay, that's good. Here we go. I can lift. Don't eat him. Don't what? eat him. No! No! Oh! Ew! 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 Woo! Got some strawberry jelly or ketchup or something. Yeah, man. Oh no. There's Bambolina. Adam loves Bambolina. She's got a kissy missy plushie. And we got a crush on Bambolina. What? She's she's gonna get oops. <gasps> this video is crazy. What? We were not Stinger Flynn. Get out of there, bro. No, don't squeeze. What? They squoze him. Guys, never get squoezed. And now the Rainbow Friends are getting turned into the Garden of Ban Ban! This is Ban Ban's kindergarten. Once a bustling education center for the best and brightest of the city, now an abandoned dump, which means it is the perfect place to rob. Everyone split up. No, man, the Rainbow Friends are gonna try and break into the Garden of Ban Ban and steal stuff. Don't do that, you're gonna get turned into Ban Ban, bro. That's a bad idea. The goal is to raid the place for stuff we can use. Toys, scrap parts, electronics, or even money. Anything that could be better used at the Rainbow Friends Play Place. The place has supposedly been abandoned for years. But based on my research, the building still has a functioning security system. It is imperative that we move as quickly as possible and disarm the alarm system before the police come. Or worse. So whatever you do, keep quiet and don't stop moving. Bruh. Well, that was easier than I... What? Oh. Bandai just knocked out the Red Rainbow Friend. Where am I? <laughs> ah, what? Who are you? Me? I am none other than this kindergarten's founder. You can call me Bam Bam. This kindergarten was run by <laughs> you, but you're a monster. Look who's talking. Listen, we just got in a few minutes ago. It was a harmless little breaking and entering. I'm sure we can put everything back where we found it. This whole thing is just a misunderstanding. Quiet, you. <gasps> you see, I'm a bit of a scientist, and I'm in need of some test subjects. <gasps> I'm trying to bring my characters to life. No. That will bring the children back. I just know it. What? <laughs> bam, bam, beam! Really? You came at the perfect time. I should be thanking you. Enrollment has been rather low these days. No, wait, wait. You said you wanted to make your characters come to life. I know how to do that. Oh, my man, man. Dude, this video is insane. Are they actually going to turn the Rainbow Friends into Ban Ban characters? <laughs> well said, guys. Yes, he said go to Walmart and Target and get Lanky Box merch. You said you wanted to make your characters come to life. I know how to do that. I've done it. In fact, I want myself. What? Really? Yeah. And if you let me go, I can help you. I'll teach you the very science I use myself. Surely we can come to some sort of an agreement. Hmm, I think that can be arranged. <laughs> <laughs> I can't seem to find anything. Being blind doesn't help. Red's gonna be so mad. <laughs> Red? What? Red, is that you? I thought I heard you yelling. Are you? Okay? Huh? He's never been better. Oh! Ah, uh, you're awake. Perfect timing. Red, what's happening? Don't worry, Green. I made us a new friend. And I'm about to change your life forever. No! No, stop with the Ban Ban Bean! No. No! Is he turning into Bobo oh. Josh? Oh! Man, this place really is abandoned. There's basically nothing. Why do we even come here? Um, this isn't nothing. Mmm, Eggy. Eggy Weggy. Ah, what is that? 
I don't know what they're up to, but I think we better run. <laughs> you don't even know where you are. We'll find you. Bruh. No. Orange, hide down here! Hurry! Oh man, what is that lovely smell? Shh! They're gonna find us! Blue, look! Snacks! You're about to be that big green thing snack if you don't... You who? Sorry, Orange. Snack time is over. Ah, no! Wait! Whoa! Is he gonna turn into a jellyfish? Bruh! Huh? Oh, what am I? I'm a monster! I mean, I guess I sort of already was, but this thing is disgusting! <laughs> Look at it this way, Orange. It's a fun change of pace. Nice try, Blue. We got you now. Bruh. No! Uh-oh. This is messed up. They're gonna turn him into Captain Fiddle. Awesome. I gotta get out of here. Boo. Run! Don't do this! I have to. In the name of science. Stop! Don't do that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ah! Captain Fiddle. Yes, we did it! Ban Ban, look! Excellent work, Red. You weren't lying about your skills, I'll give you that. Anyhow, since you've used my ideas and transformed my rainbow friends, I'll be taking off. Right out to my fee, of course. Right, right, your fee. After all, I did sacrifice my best man for the cause. Oh, Red, <laughs> I thought you were an evil genius. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Listen here, freak. You're never leaving this place again. And unless you want to be transformed like all your little rainbow friends, you'll follow me back to the lab. I don't know what happened to me. I can't even see. I just hope the other guys are okay. You. This is all because of you. What is it? Who are you? You big green freak. You helped Red and that guy turn us into monsters. What are you talking about? What? He zapped them. They're fighting. No. You'll pay for that. Hey, what are you doing to Orange? <gasps> Yo. Wait. Wait, Orange, that was you? How do you know me? Wait a second, is that you, Green? Green, sorry I tackled you, I didn't know. It's okay, I threw Orange into the wall. And yet, I'm the only one who doesn't get an apology. You guys have to help me, Red and that other guy turn us into these horrible things. <gasps> We've got to get them to turn us back somehow. Oh, I know how. I bet they're through here, let's go guys. Wow. <gasps> No, it's me, Red. Ben Ben transformed me as well. Why would he do that? To keep me from leaving. And it worked. Come on, everyone. Our new forms are remarkable after all. We should just stay here. Then the kindergarten can open back up and we'll all be happy. Right? Get up! They're all teaming up against Red! No. No way! Alright, alright. I'm sorry, okay? If you're so sorry, then change us back. I... I... I don't know how. What? I was only able to transform you with Red's help. Then where's Red? He managed to escape after our experiments in the laboratory. I think he's in the back hallways. Please, just let me live. Fine, but there's something we got to do first. Sorry, bad man. You've been quite the bad kid. <laughs> Oh, he got put in the naughty corner. This happens to us. Adam's mom puts us there. <laughs> the bad kids go in the naughty corner. Wait. Wait. So, Green, you were already here, right? Do you remember where the room is? No. I'm blind, remember? I only found it because I could hear Red yelling. Yeah, it's not like that's going to happen again. Ah, let me out. Let me out. Well, I stand corrected. Oh, whoa! What's happening? Thank you. That bad man monster mutated me into a clone of himself. I snuck back here to change myself back and- Hey, don't thank us yet. I'll flip this machine back on unless you do exactly what we say. I... I don't blame you. I was a terrible evil genius slash boss today. I should have never trusted that freak bad man. I should never have hurt you. Save your apologies for later, and just turn us back. Release me and I'll do it. No way! How could we trust you? If you don't, then we'll all be stuck this way forever. Bruh. What? Now let's get out of here. 
Nice, they're all back to normal. Okay, here's Stinger Flynn. They're in a lab, just like what we just saw. Wait, why do they have a test tube? What are they doing? What is that? Look <laughs> like at the Tilka DNA. There's some EXE. Some fried Tilka. Don't eat that Stinger Flynn. Don't drink that ever. It broke. Oh no. What is he doing? He's turning. Oh! Oh, what is that? Oh, he, is he Orange Rainbow Friend? He's turning into Nightmare Orange. Yo. What is that? Oh my goodness! Oh! Adam got a crush on Mabelina. No, I don't. I don't, guys. I don't. Yes, he does. Nope. Yes, he does. Cap. There's Beverly. <laughs> this Batman. What? What was that? Who's gonna win, guys? Ah! What? Is he gonna oof him? <gasps> he injected him. He turned him back to normal. Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah! yeah! This is the sad funeral of Garden of Ban Ban. Okay, guys, this is. What is going on now? Everyone's at the Ooferol, guys. They're all there. Maybe this is how it happened. They're all hanging out. Oh, they ran. They're scared. Because he looks like a monster. Oh, wow. This is sad. This is so sus, bro. Oh, there's Jumbo Josh. Jumbo Josh is his friend. Who got who? No, no, no. Listen. Stop, Adam. <laughs> Adam can't follow a cartoon this simple. This is a flashback. Okay. Captain Fiddles wanted to hang out with, with the piggies. But the piggies were scared, they ran away. But Jumbo Josh said, I'll be your friend. Got it. Okay, okay, okay. See, Jumbo oh. Josh. Oh, see, the piggies are not scared anymore. Got it. It makes sense now. They're it saying he's not a monster. Got it. He's Captain Fiddles. Yeah. He's happy. Don't be mean to Captain Jumbo Fiddles. Jumbo Josh saved his life, basically. And the bird sees Jumbo Josh thinking about the, the bird was chasing the player, fell over. Justin's got this. He understands and it. And then Jumbo Josh helped the bird catch the player. Got it. So they're they're thinking about why they were all friends with Jumbo Josh and they all hug it out. Bambolina and Bam Bam are sad. They're thinking back to when they're fighting over something. They were fighting, fighting over, over a huggy, huggy, a huggy doll. And, and then here comes Jumbo Josh. Jumbo Josh is gonna say they broke it. Jumbo oh. Josh is gonna fix it. Don't fight, guys. And I'm gonna crush on Bambolina. Okay. I don't have and a crush then, on and her. And Jumbo Josh is he's he's gonna fix it, dude. So they're all remembering how amazing Jumbo Josh was. He gave a new doll to Bam Bam. So they're all taking their time to remember their happy moments with Jumbo Josh. At their funeral. This is heartbreaking. Wow. Wow. And now they're happy again. See, Jumbo Josh helped people. <gasps> Here's Stinger Flynn. He's thinking about Jumbo Josh, man. Wow, guys. There's the coffin. He's thinking back. Thinking back to when they were all hanging out. Yep. This is so sad. And he was kind of scared, see? Jumbo Josh said, it's okay, buddy. He said, don't be shy. This is so sad. Why did he oof, man? He oof, R.I.P. Jumbo Josh. Yeah, how did he get oof, though? Oh, no. Did the elevator fall on him? Yeah, it must have been. Probably, yeah. Uh... And they're all crying. That is so sad. This is the sad origin story of Bad Man from the Garden of Bad Man. Now, there's Bad Man. Oh, he's playing with everybody <gasps> in the ball pit. Uh-oh. Okay, now everyone's got to go home. Oh, Bad Man's lonely. He says, oh. Don't bro. cry, guys. We have such amazing videos to watch with you today. Oh, so it's, it's, like, a, it's like an employee. It's like a worker. Oh, no. What's going to happen? Wait, they fell asleep in the Bad Man suit. Wait, well, who's that, bro? He's giving him maybe some money. What is that? Yo, okay, so that must be his boss. He made some money. Oh, no. Wait, but now his boss tricked him. Scanning, red alert, oh, red no. alert, Bam red Bam alert. Damn man, no, no, They locked no. him in, they locked him in. Oh my goodness, bro. They're putting the EXE around him, bro. This is so sad. This is so fast. Oh, they're gonna run experiments on him. <laughs> they're gonna turn him into Ban Ban permanently. Bro, that way they don't have to pay him, bro. Keep watching, guys. We have even more insane videos to show you. This is so messed up. Oh, oh he turned into Ban Ban. Hi -ya. Oh, e oh. <laughs> now it's the origin story of the Garden of Ban Ban. It's the bird chasing the player. No way. You better run, dude. Oh. Huh? They're hiding. Oh my goodness. <gasps> what are you doing here, little one? The back halls are strictly off limits. Little one? I'm not a kid, I'm- An intruder, I know. Unfortunately for you, you chose the wrong place to break into. 
this place has been abandoned for years. So you thought. <gasps> Who are you? What? Me? <laughs> I'm the very founder of this school and the proud mascot. I am Ban Ban. You see, I was a human once, much like you. I had a family and everything. A mother and a father and a sister, all of whom were the bane of my existence. I was a standoffish child. I had no friends, and I spent most of my time in my room, alone, playing with toys. God. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. They have no friends, and they spend all their time alone playing with toys? Wait, that's what we do. No, Foxy's not a toy! Yeah, Foxy's she's a my thick friend. plushie! Foxy, yeah, yeah, your best friend, Foxy. Foxy is real. In my mind, Foxy is real, bro. That's probably how this person feels, man. Yes, guys, and we're gonna learn how Bam Bam went from a human kid into the monster. Not that my parents ever noticed anyway. No, they had another child to focus on. My sister. Our entire lives, she was the perfect child. A star athlete. A star scholar. A musical prodigy. An artist. She was good at everything, and I can't say she didn't work for it. Years later, she received exciting news from our school. Oh my gosh! I'm valedictorian! Some people are born talented. Some have talent thrust upon them, and others are like me. Hey, let me go! Or what? Gonna tell your big sister on us? The little guy can't do anything on his own, huh? I was tormented endlessly. It was as if everyone could sense my low self-esteem. Man, this is so sad. So at home, his parents love his sister, but not him. And at school, he's getting picked on, bro. Oh, man, that is... Let me just say something important, bro. Go ahead, yep. Meanies yep. are weenies, bro. Exactly, guys. If you guys are being a meanie to someone, that makes you a weenie. No, and that's not cool. No, stop it. Stop it, bro. Listen. It's better to be a weenie than to be a meanie. Tormented endlessly, it was as if everyone could sense my low self-esteem. They all looked at me as less than. I was never good enough for anyone. Not to mention my constantly failing grades. Of course, every teacher compared me to my sister. Why aren't you as smart as her, they'd ask. I wasn't very smart to begin with, but the paralyzing stress I was under only made things worse. My parents, who already had no reason to support me or be proud of me, were losing their patience by the day. Those toys, they were my only friends. Always had been. What kind of high schooler was I? Nobody to hang out with. Nobody to call on the phone. Playing with toys and crying on my bedroom floor. One day, I got fed up. I fought back. And that turned out to be one of the worst ideas I've ever had. Oh my god! You brought toys to school? What a little baby! Hey, give those back! I'm serious! Aw, what are you gonna do? Cry about it? Seriously, put them down! Oh, don't worry. I'll put them down. No. Sure hope they know how to swim. No! Are you serious? No, guys. You put him in the pot. This actually hurts real bad for me because something like this happened to me at school one time. What? There was a meanie picking on me and he opened my backpack and found all my milk and he dumped it in the toilet. Why did he put the milk in the pot? <laughs> <laughs> now listen. This is so messed up, bro. So you're getting picked on at school, bro. And if you guys look closely, it's actually 3 a.m. This is so messed up, guys. Do not flush plushies down the potty at 3 a.m. No! My friends were gone. I'd lost everything at that point. My grades tanked even further. What's up, buddy? Dude. Guys, so do funny. not flushy the no. plushies. Don't. 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 Thick Shark says, I'm too thick and I can swear! <laughs> Don't, bro. Don't! And my parents wanted nothing to do with me anyway. And it only got worse from there. Graduation day. My sister was valedictorian. And it was the proudest moment of my parents' lives. I couldn't bear to go. Besides, I had to go do a makeup science project in the lab to get my grades up. Everyone's big day was ruined, and mine was about to be as well. Just as I showed up to do my science project, well, I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. 
Since I was the only person not in the gym at the time when the sprinklers went off, everyone thought it was me. I was instantly guilty in their eyes. This prank, the prank I didn't even do, got me expelled. My parents sent me off to boarding school. I knew they were secretly happy it all happened. They couldn't wait to get rid of me. I was almost happy to be free of the bullying, to be free of the constant comparisons to my sister. But my situation didn't really improve. I was still bullied. And my grades didn't get much better. So from then on, I became obsessed with one thing and one thing only. To one day build my own school. A place where kids would be happy. No bullies, no mean teachers. A safe space filled with magical creatures just like the toys I'd lost. Wow, so his dream was to make Bam Bam's kindergarten, man. Wow, that's crazy. Bruh. Meanwhile, my parents wouldn't answer my calls or my letters. When breaks rolled around, they never showed up to pick me up and take me home. I was completely alone in the world, with no one to keep me company. But finally, one day, I got a letter. I knew it had to be from my parents, at last. It wasn't. It was a letter letting me know I'd been dropped from school due to poor academic standing. Fine, I didn't need them anyway. I decided to go back home. But I couldn't bear to stay. I was a burden to them. They wouldn't have been happy to see me anyway. So I made a promise to myself. I would make it on my own, start my school, and I wouldn't need them anymore. By working lots of odd jobs and part-timers, I was able to raise enough money to buy an abandoned building and try and spruce it up into my own daycare and educational facility. But being a brand new establishment, well, it didn't get much attention. Guys, these videos are so crazy. They'll all be linked down below. Look at his hair, bro. It looks like Bam Bam's two party hats, and he's wearing the same color as Bam Bam, bro. Oh, wow. So he's already transforming, guys. Yeah, he's much older. So this is so sad, man. So he wasn't doing good at school. He got kicked out of school. His parents didn't care about him. And so he said, I'll make my own school one day and show you. And he's doing that. So this is like kind of a happy ending, maybe. It didn't get much attention or any enrollments whatsoever. Somehow, I felt more alone than ever. In that moment, I really wished I had my old friends. My toys. I loved those toys as a child. Why not dedicate it to them and share their joy with other children? It was time to give the place some more color. And besides, a theme always sells, right? And before my eyes, I built it, and people came. So many people wanted to enroll, and the children loved it. It made my heart so happy that these kids would never be as lonely as me. But it still felt incomplete, so I took on an additional project. Trying to recreate my old friends and bring them to life. No. I didn't have much technical or medical knowledge, but I was hoping between some textbooks and my own perseverance I could do it. Don't. And I almost did. Uh -huh. I managed to make, well, something. Whoa. But I realized the world wasn't ready to see what I had created. I decided never to share my failed experiment, and I had him live in the basement alone. Clearly I was missing something in my calculations, but I never figured out what it was. So I inserted a new variable. Myself. When I electrified myself and the toy at the same time, we merged. What? I was terrified. I was disgusted. I was... amazed. And then I realized I couldn't let the parents see me like this. So I became nothing but a voice on the intercom. I shut myself in my office and refused to come out again unless there was an extreme emergency. Bruh. I hoped that day would never come. That's sad. But it did. Somehow a door was left unlocked. No. A door to the back hallway. No. Bruh! Uh oh. And a little girl got through. I found her. That little girl almost never made it out. But I had revealed myself to the children, and they were absolutely terrified, as they should be. I was a living monster. Of course, they told their parents, who pulled them out of school immediately. Before my eyes, we went from the most prestigious kindergarten in town to completely barren. They viewed me as a monster. So, I've become one. I've been capturing intruders like you to carry out my experiments. 
course, most of them have been failures. But who knows? You could be my first success. <laughs> uh oh. Ah! Whoa, it's baby blue rainbow friend. Oh, wait, they have the drones, so they're in Garden Ban Ban? Whoa, it's the rainbow friends in Ban Ban. Ban Ban, more like bruh, bruh. And he's got a baby. What? It's baby blue. He's got a baby? Yeah. Oh, now watch out. He is a baby. Right, right, right. He's got a diaper. He's got a diaper. Just like, uh, just like baby boxy. Exactly. Oh, no, he's running. And he's tripping on the block, guys. No. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, hey, baby boxy. I'm not I'm not I don't want to wear it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I put it on Adam's head. Hey! Yeah, don't take that. Yo, why'd they tie up the bird, bruh? You are a monster. No, he's not. No, it's a mommy. <laughs> Uh oh. They're gonna fry him up like some chicken. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that's the note. The that's note. the note from the start of the Garden of Ban Ban. That's not good. Oh my goodness, it's a flashback. <gasps> what? Are they humans? Oh, that's the bird. That's the bird that looks I know. a little bit like Justin. What? <laughs> What's going on? You got no friends. Uh, yep. Just like me. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Is this Justin? Uh, am I the bird? <gasps> oh no. Help. Oh, no, is that my twin sister? That might be Justine. Bro. Oh, no way. Back up, dude. Don't pick on him. Exactly. No. He does that in real life, too. Nah, bro. Don't. Oh, wow. No, I'm a hero. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's he got, happening? He got picked on, dude. Oh, no. He got That meanie. guy's a meanie, bro. No! Oh, took an L. I don't take you. Yeah, he, guys, he bounces back. Oh, oh yes. his sister's helping him. Always bounce back. Right. She messed with me, too, bro. She said, oops. Oh, man. Bro, nobody likes oh! that. Oh, wow. That's not my sister. Oh, wow. That's not my sister. Oh, wow. That's not. And this he's is crying, guys. I bet that meanie would be Adam. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Why do they treat me like that? So you're going to become friends with the bird. Bird. Wow, that's The bird so might become the mommy. Oh. They got an eggy waggy in there. Don't take it. Don't take it. Oh, I thought What's he was going to bite him. Is he going to eat it? Oh, the bird's being nice. Gave him an egg. What's he going to do? What's he doing, bro? Well, he's doing what you always do. <laughs> <laughs> what? He ate it. Oh, no. The eggy waggy's going around him, bro. The DNA is entering his body, guys. Oh, my goodness. Not the egg DNA. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's transforming. Oh, my goodness. This is insane. He turned into the baby birdie. Uh-oh. 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 Oh my goodness, man. Bam Bam? That's the origin of the bird, man. But what, and they, everyone loves him. This is not good, guys. Someone lost their balloon. He's gonna help him. Oh no. He's gonna help him. Please, no. Yo, baby Boxy's diaper. Baby Boxy, I don't wanna wear your diaper on your head. You have to wait. <laughs> wait, what's happening? Yo, he's picking up. He helped this person. He actually like, dropped them. Oh no. He helped him with their balloon, then, then they fell. The mommy's gonna get mad, bro. Go away, monster. He's not a monster. Yo, he's angry. He's not a monster. Don't attack. He's Don't angry. attack. He's angry, bro. Uh-oh. He's angry. Don't be angry, man. Please, It's no. okay. Oh, what's that? There's still people picking up people. Oh, Is no. that alphabet lore? That does look we like alphabet. You got letter F. And letter H. Yes, guys. Oh, my goodness, bro. <gasps> and so there, that, that's what that. So you're a good person and you just want to help people? Yeah. 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 Of, of course. course. I will not hurt anybody. Don't hurt people, guys. We will help and everyone will like you. Let's go. So they're going to work together with the birdie so everyone loves the birdie. Aww. This is lit, bro. Hey, this is new friend. Wow. Wait. Wow. And they're all friends and babies together. I'm not sure where the Ban Ban gang hid the kids. But we must find and save them. <gasps> Who's that? Hmm. It seems she belonged to the Ban Ban gang. Whoa. Hey, yo. Are they gonna fight? They're gonna fight. Yeah! <laughs> this is nuts. Oh! Hey, yo. Hey, yo. He's like dabbing, bro. He's creating a whirlwind. It's Mommy Long Legs versus the Pink Bird. This is nuts. 
Hey. This is insane, guys. Bruh. Oh, oh, bruh, the dodge. Hey, yo. Wow. Mommy Logan, he's got to. This is nuts, guys. Hey, Jumbo Josh, that's not fair. It's 2v1. Whoa. Oh, but Boxy Boo's here. He's fighting Pan Pan. Is he going to battle again? What? Yep, yep, it's Bam Bam versus Boxy Boo. To be continued, bro. This is the sad origin story of that pink bird. Watch out! Bruh. Uh-oh. Bruh. Run! Ah! Bruh. Oh. oh my god. Oh, what is this place? Look what we have here. Huh? Who are you? I should be asking the very same question. I used to go to this kindergarten, I think. Oh, you did, did you? Then you must remember me. Ah! What the? What's going on in this place? What are you? And what was that freaky bird thing that was chasing me? Oh, our dear Apilla bird. She's certainly memorable, isn't she? But you know, she wasn't always this terrifying. Bro, so that girl was someone who used to go to the Garden of Bam Bam, and now she's asking who the bird is, man. Wow, we're gonna learn how that girl is gonna transform into the pink bird. What? Apilla was actually a human once, just like you are. She was? What happened? Now, now. I'm not going to spoil all the fun. Papilla was actually this kindergarten's very own art teacher. Yes, she was a wonderful instructor. Great with children. Even though she herself had a less than ideal upbringing. Wait, what? This person turned into the pink bird? Kinda looks like me, bro. Now, wait a minute, guys. Go to Walmart and Target, get Lanky Box merch. I'm a little bit sussed out, to be honest, because I think this person might be Justin's twin sister. This might be a little bit saucy. Yeah! You see, Apilla didn't exactly have many friends growing up. She always seemed to have a hard time making friends and was treated like an outcast. And the few companions she found in nature were often shooed away by other children. Don't do that! They were relentless, always putting Apilla down, laughing and calling her awful names. It was so bad, in fact, that she often was forced to eat her lunches alone in order to avoid the unending bullying from her classmates. Which meant she spent a lot of time in the school's abandoned art room. And while she was still lonely, at least here she could doodle and just be herself without fear. Man, that's real sad. So everyone at school's picking on her. She's got to eat lunch by herself. That's like me in real life. Can you imagine being a meanie? Dude, don't be meanies, bro. Everyone in these stories always be meanies, bro. Meanies are weenies. Yeah, a little bit louder. Better to be a weenie than to be a meanie. <laughs> Look at this guy. Do that again. Do that. Just do that. If there's meanies, just do that. <laughs> <laughs> and show up! Say, meanies are weenies! Being secluded in that room meant that she had a lot of time to practice her drawing skills. Every day, over and over and over again, her parents became increasingly concerned about her lack of friends, so they decided to get her someone to talk to. So her parents said she didn't have friends, so they got her a bird to talk to. That's pretty cool. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> At last, someone to have a conversation with who wasn't going to ridicule and humiliate her. Uh, would you want to look at my drawings? I, um, I think you might like them. The two hit it off right away. I think we're going to get along real nice. Quickly, the bird became her only true friend. And for once, Apilla felt happy, though unfortunately, it didn't help her at school. The countless days spent in solitude were wearing on her. Whoa, this is actually kind of good. As it turned out, Apilla was turning into a very good artist, an amazing one even, until one day, she decided to enter into a drawing contest at school with all of her classmates. Apilla was so nervous of what the others would say, but she actually won. She decided then and there that this is what she wanted to do with the rest of her life. 
and she did everything possible to make her new dream of being an artist a reality. Wow, that's awesome, man. She got so good at drawing, she won an award, bro. Now, this is even more sus because both the girl in this story and Justin are really good artists. I draw all the time, bro. We're gonna put a, a picture on screen of a drawing that Justin did just yesterday. Sometimes I draw a uh, bambolina because I don't got a big crush on her. <laughs> then one day, tragedy struck. Apilla's annoying cousin Kevin moved back to town after spending some time away at boarding school. He also had an interest in painting, so their parents thought it would be a good idea for them to spend some time together. Birds? They're so lame! What? Ah, birds are lame! Birds are lame! I like birds. Yeah, well, they're stupid and ugly and annoying. They're not even good pets. <laughs> Take that back! Fine! You're stupid and ugly and annoying. Yo! Media alert! Media alert! Media alert! Someone was not listening earlier. Wee -wee 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 -wee. That guy Kevin is being a giant meanie weenie, bro. Everyone at home, just go like this and then go like this so you can listen close to what Justin's about to say. Media alert! <laughs> Media alert! Weenie alert! Weenie alert! Weenie alert! You know what I mean? Meanies are weenies! Yeah, guys, don't be a meanie. This is so sus, For the dude. first time, Apilla decided to stand up for herself. She wasn't going to take this bullying anymore, especially from some punk like Kevin. Hey! What the heck is wrong with you? Look who's ugly now! That's it! You're gonna pay for that! Fly away, little guy! <gasps> Apilla waited all day and night for the bird to return. But it was long gone, and from that day, Apilla and Kevin were arch enemies. Unfortunately, they were the same age and went to the same school, so it was impossible for Apilla to avoid him. He made her life miserable, picking on her every chance he got, and encouraging the others to pile on. Plus, they both were still interested in painting, so they constantly were around one another in the art room too. They were both working on a big project, a design for the new mural to be painted on the side of the school. Whoever's drawing was selected was given a prestigious award, one that could get you into any art program in the country. They both wanted it more than anything, but while Apilla seemed confident in her work, Kevin struggled to come up with any good ideas of his own, so he decided to take hers. Apilla waited weeks to hear back about her design, but she was never contacted. Then one day, she realized why. Kevin? What are you doing? Th that's my design! Oh, really? Because the judges told me you never submitted one! Huh? What? Wait! Did you? Ah! You stole my design, you jerk! Oh, yeah? Prove it! for this. Don't know how, but he will. And that was Apilla's final straw. Her devotion to her art was so strong that it led her to do something she'd regret later. Bruh. So... What? How could this have happened? She felt a rush. This was sweet revenge for what he did to her. Unfortunately, she was eventually caught. Apilla was expelled for vandalizing the mural, while Kevin went on to a prestigious painting academy. He became very successful, while she was just a wannabe artist who- <laughs> Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm watching sorry. a video here! <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm watching the TV! <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I had pepper Mom, on my milk this morning. Cover your mouth when you sneeze your cold. I did, I dabbed, just like you taught no, me. No, I you no. Yes, I did. <laughs> Apilla was expelled for vandalizing the mural, while Kevin went on to a prestigious painting academy. He became very successful, while she was just a wannabe artist who peaked in high school. Her only creative outlet was more vandalism, which made it nearly impossible to find a job. Convenience stores, restaurants, even pizza deliveries all denied her based on her troubled past. That is, until she stumbled onto a very special flyer. Uh oh. Hmm. Anyone, you say? And she finally found her place. She played a huge part of the kindergarten's early success. Many of the paintings that graced these walls were the work of dear Apilla, 
and children flocked to see her colorful characters. Wait, so she was the one who designed all the characters, man. There's Mamelina. I don't got a crush on Mamelina. I don't no, have a crush bro, on her. Bro, bro. She livened up the place, played with the children, and taught them about art. But when class sizes started to dwindle, Apilla knew the end of Ban Ban's kindergarten was near. But she was desperate. She couldn't lose this job. So she decided to speak with the principal directly. Excuse me, sir? I know things are looking bleak around here, but I want you to know that without, without this job, I don't know how I'll be able to buy groceries or pay, pay my rent. P please don't fire me. I'll do anything. Oh, don't worry, my dear Apella. It's been a pleasure having you as an employee. In fact, come with me and we'll make sure you never have to leave ever. Oh! He's saying come with me and I'm going to turn you into a Ban Ban character. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. This is for your own good. No. I transformed her. I gave her a new oh! life. From then on, she became our beloved Apilla Bird. You know, you might make a lovely test subject as well. I don't think so! Uh, wow! Uh, run! Oh! No! With the flying takedown, bro! That's crazy! Please! Ah! Oh, now it's baby rainbow friends in Ban Ban's kindergarten. Okay, and they're playing. Hey, yo. Okay. 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 Oh, what? Oh, he's hungry. Hungry in the tummy. What? You can't eat those. You can't eat that. Don't ever do that. Don't do that, guys. That's not cool. Be cool. Yeah, guys. He pressed the drone button. Huh? Well, <laughs> <laughs> baby rainbow friend found the drone. What? No, don't open that. Don't open that. Don't, don't open up that door. Ever, guys, ever. Here comes the pink birds. <laughs> In the garden of is where you see it for the first time. Oh, no. No, no, I found the other room. <laughs> okay, that's good. This is sus, man. Don't do that. And they're gonna follow him. Don't. Oh, they're. Oh, yeah, they're gonna see the pink bird. Guys, watch out, please. This, this is where it lives. Nah, bro. Uh oh. Don't take those eggs. Don't. Dude, don't. Oh! Oh! Why would you do that? He ate the egg? Why would he take more? Oh, oh. He fed him to that. He guard? I don't know if that's how that Is that works. how that works? Is that how that works? I don't know, guys, because we eat eggs for breakfast all the time. And so that's how your mom makes them? <laughs> no! No! Uh. I don't understand, guys. I really don't know. All I'm going to say, it's a little bit sus and get merch at Walmart or Target. Wait! Huh? Huh? Don't eat that, bro. Don't eat that. Ew! <laughs> Why would you eat that? Yeah, they like it. They're looking for more. Hey, yo. <laughs> Wait, you gonna feed him the tip? Don't. You can't do that. Show this to Foxy. Now I know that's not what Foxy's Foxy says, stop it, Adam. This is silly. Guys, everyone be mature just like Foxy. No one laugh at be that. Be mature, bro. That's no one crazy. laugh at that. Huh? Uh huh? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> He's looking for something to feed the bird. Thinking. Guys, whatever happens, just don't laugh. <laughs> you just said don't laugh. 
Hey, you're gonna laugh at that? Really? You're gonna laugh at that? This is so dumb. This, this is, is not dumb, dumb, dude. You guys, everyone, what, whatever happens, we're gonna turn up the volume. We're gonna make it nice and loud. Everyone watching, do not laugh. Listen to me. Turn up your TVs, Listen your iPads. This is baby boxy. Yeah. Where's yeah. his diaper, man? Uh, Where's his diaper, bro? He's always losing Where, his diaper. Cause, Adam, cause you don't take care of him, bro. I found it. I found it. I found it. All right. All right. All right. Hey. You're like the bird. You're like the bird, dude. All right. Let's listen to this. Cookies. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> huh? What? Hmm. <gasps> he fed him to his friends. <laughs> That's me after a big meal. <laughs> what is this, guys? Uh, there's a 25% chance this is how stuff is made. Maybe. <laughs> Oh, what's that? A key card? Ah. Nah. Don't feed that. What is that? A remote? No. What is it? I don't even know what it is. What is it? It's a remote, yep. <laughs> is it gonna be a TV that comes out? <laughs> what? That doesn't make any sense! It says you owe. <laughs> and now it's among us! <laughs> now it's among us! It's sauce! That last video was sauce. <laughs> it's among us in Garden of Ban Ban. It's among us versus Garden of Ban Ban. He's peeking. There's the, there's the bird. Pretty late. Okay, they're doing math or something. Be careful. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> ah! Jump scare! Oh, you got a key card. Nice. Use it. Whoa. No, over there. Yeah, over there. Over there. Yeah. Nice. Bloop. Nice. <gasps> drone! You got the drone. Okay, what's gonna happen, guys? What are the crewmates gonna do? This is so sus, dude. Very sus, guys. Who's the imposter? Is it the bird? Oh, no. Don't. Don't. Guys, don't ever open up that door. If you find a drone. Nah. Uh-oh. Why would you open that? Oh. Wait, the bird's nice? It's friendly. Oh, cool. Well, they gotta find the eggs? Yeah, looking for eggs. Scavenger hunt. This is so cool, guys. Yep. So the bird is actually nice. The bird's not gonna oof him. Get the eggy waggies. Why is it sitting like that? He wants to eat the eggs. Okay. Okay. Give him the eggs. There you go. Feed him the eggs. Yeah, give it to the bird. Okay. Press the button. Yup, that's how you get another egg. Oh, they missed. Oh. What? Missed again. Come on. It's not working. The button's not working. They broke it. Bruh. Oh no. Feed him. Nice. Key card? Oh, he's saying find the other eggs. Oh, got it. It's right by the seesaw. Yeah, there's a bunch. Nice job, nice, guys. Nice. nice teamwork. Teamwork makes a dream work. What's gonna happen here, though? Okay, there's two. Nice. Key card. Oh, there's another button. Press that. Perfect. They turn on the power, but. They broke oh, their drone. Oh, yeah, you have to try the power first. Are they gonna throw the egg up there? No. Mm -hmm. They're gonna throw each other. Yeah! Uh, yeah! <laughs> Got the last egg. There you go, birdie. Feed him. Feed him. Feed him, eat him. <laughs> A hammer! Nice. They made it out. No, oh, this is where they get chased at him by the pink bird. Oh, boy. It's not over. They're on to the next room, guys. Here we go. So we gotta do the color memory. Let's look at a little bit of sass. Very sass, guys. Here's the final video. We can we can do it. Let's look at a little bit of sass. Okay, they're going across. <sighs> Uh-oh. I got a bad feeling about this. Oh boy. Okay, nice. Now put in the colors. So that among us is literally playing Garden of Bam Bam. I don't know. But they can't make it in, they gotta get the right colors. Huh? They need the orange key card, they're saying. Huh? Keep 
Pink card. Pink card. Math equals MC squared. Oh, they got the colors. They got the colors. Green knows the colors. Nice. Nice. There's Bambolina. Adam got a crush on Bambolina. I don't. That's it. <laughs> no, it's not. Did it. Nice. They got it. Nice, nice. Great job, guys. Uh -oh. Uh oh Okay, guys. Make your predictions. Who's going to get who first? Uh oh. SpaghettiOs. I'm going to guess uh, yellow. What? Hey, yo. Yeehaw. Hey, yo. Yeah. Ayo! That was pretty good. Only one of them moved. Nice. Get the card. Get out of there. Don't just stand there. Perfect. Nice. Get out of there, dude. Get out of there. Great job. Nice. Get out of there, bro. There we go. Oh, now it's time for Jumbo Josh, dude. Oh, no. Don't Jumbo Josh. Don't nah, get mad. Don't get mad at that's me. That's a mistake. Okay, here we go, guys. Don't. Don't. Uh oh. Don't. Sus, guys. Very sus. This is so sus. No! Oh, man. It's Jumbo Josh. Are they going to get eaten? The green one can blend in. Oh, they kicked them. Oh, no! <laughs> Bambolina. What? It's Jumbo Josh. Wait, what are they doing? Oh, they're painting. No way. What are they going to draw? They're painting. What are they drawing? And that's a stinger Flynn, who's the um, jellyfish. Yo, Jumbo Josh painted, painted the Mona Lisa. Yo, what? Bambolina drew that. That's pretty good. That's good, but not quite as good. Not as good as the other one. Okay, okay. Oh, so they Oh, so we gave the gold star to the jellyfish, not to Bambolina. Wow. I probably would have given now, the gold star to Bambolina. Now, I want I want to I want to say Adam has a crush on Bambolina. No, no, okay. That, 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 that's not true. That's okay, not okay, true. Now they're doing uh, what's this? Um, they're making sculptures. Oh, okay. Jumbo Josh, so I get it. It's a competition oh. between Bambolina and uh, the jellyfish. Yo! Wow, so Stinger Flynn the jellyfish is really good. He made Jumbo Josh perfectly. <laughs> I don't, man. I don't. Okay. Oh, they're putting together a boogie bot from Poppy Playtime. Oh, I get it. Okay. Okay, the jellyfish has like 10 arms. That's not fair. You can do it, Bambolina. Bambolina. I don't have a crush on Bambolina. I don't have a crush on her. They're playing chess, dude. And look at how sad she is. I know how to play chess. I'm good. Pawn to J6. That's true, guys. Justin is a grandmaster in chess. Adam wishes he was here playing chess with Bambolina. No, I don't, man. I don't. Oh. Adam, guys, Adam has a crush on Bambolina. Guys, that is cap. It's not cap. That's a lie. It's real. It's real. That's cap. It's real. It's real. It's real, dude. It's real. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Hey, yeah. Oh, what are they playing? Oh. What is this? What is this? This looks like a fun game. Oh, it's like a matching game? Now they're playing... On their laptop. Maybe they're writing uh, like an essay or something. Okay, guys. Go yeah. to lankyboxshop.com. Yep, yeah, they're turning their essay. Is it, what? Huh? What? She got blaster. Huh? Whoa. So... Hey, yo, that's like, hey, he yo. Wow. It's Bambolina, dude. Wow. What do you think of Bambolina? I, I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't know, man. Why are you getting on nervous, Andy? I'm not. Why are you sweating, Andy? I'm, I'm not, I'm not nervous. It's just, what, it's just a video. Hey, yo. Whatever, dude. I got a crush on Bambolina. I don't. <laughs> Stop saying that. Okay, now it's Jumbo Josh again. Okay. okay. Okay, there's the jellyfish. What's going on, dude? Hmm. He's trying to go inside. No, he said you're not allowed inside. It's uh -uh. the pool club or something. Yeah, true, guys. Okay, Jumbo Josh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> guys, Aiden MacArthur has... I don't! He got crushed. Yeah! He got crushed. I don't have a crush. That's you so, lying. I, I read his diary. He, Why are you lying? I read, I read his diary. He Justin. Wrote that, he wrote that I love Mambolina. Justin. <laughs> lies. It's not, that is I such lie? a lie. Why did I lie? Guys, Justin yeah. is trying to embarrass oh, yeah. me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a lie? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Oh, whatever, oh, yeah. man. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why? Whatever, <laughs> man. Whatever. Why are you sweating? Ew. Stop! Hey, Stop. Dude! <laughs> Guys, Lanky Box is so this sus. This is so cringe. <laughs> I got a crush on that Leah. Yo.
Okay, oh, he said after you, but lady. So he's not allowed, but Bambolita is. Mm, I see. Later that night. Okay. Okay, Jumbo Josh fell asleep. He's gonna sneak inside. Okay, got it. There we go. Snuck inside, dude. There goes Stinger uh -oh, Flynn. Uh oh. Okay. Okay, so um, Captain Fiddles is there. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> Guys, we'll put the dancing loop on Yeah, straight. Luke Bambolita, dude. Luke Bambolita here dancing, dude. That'd be lit, dude. That'd be awesome. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you getting jealous, dude? I'm dancing with Bambolita. Wait, put a, put a thing of Justin dancing right next to uh, her. This is lit, dude. Wow, guys. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, they're playing. Oh! Wow. Oh, Jumbo Josh is not happy. Uh-oh. He's gonna... He's gonna, he's gonna punch gonna him? the jellyfish. What's he doing? Is he gonna punch him? Guys, keep watching. We do have secret videos at the end. <gasps> dance fight! What? They're gonna have a dance-off? They're gonna have a dance battle. No way, that's Jumbo cool. Josh versus the jellyfish. Yo, hey, yo! Oh! Hey, yo, hey, yo! Okay! Hey, yo! Okay. Hey, yo? Now, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> he's, he's, uh, <laughs> what is wrong with you, what's, man? What's wrong with you? Man? Do you like making fun of your best friend on camera and, and trying to make make uh, make what? them embarrassed? I wouldn't embarrass Foxy. No, well, no, I'm talking about me. What? Yeah. Dude, where baby? What's this? Baby Lena? Maybe. Ba hey, yeah. So what? Bambolina is a mom? I guess so. What? Okay, there's the pink bird. Okay, he's trying to, okay, he's friends with the pink bird. Aww. What is going on, bruh? So what, who's the day? Hmm, I guess it's probably Bam Bam. Yeah, Bam oh. Bam. What? Oh, she's saying you watch the baby. Got it. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Why would he do- why would he do that? Hey, yo! No, no, no. Wait- Oh, no, he's gonna blow himself up! <laughs> oh! Why did he try to do that? He went boom, boom. Okay. Meanwhile, okay, watch well, some TV. Uh, why are they all trying to oof the little baby bambolina? They're trying to be bad parents. Why? I'm not sure. What are they doing? Okay. And he took the dynamite and blew himself up. Oh man, everyone's open. What are they trying to do? What's trying to cook the, the little baby? What? what? He just ate the jelly. He's blowing him up like a balloon. What? So Jumbo Josh is here to protect the baby. Oh. What if Jumbo Josh was the day? That's cool. And now they're at the movies. <laughs> That's lit. Yeah, guys, that's that's cool. There's Captain Fiddles. Now, guys, make sure to go to Walmart and Target and get Lanky Box merch. Let's see what happens here. Adam has a crush on Bambolino. I don't. Yeah, he, I don't, guys. Yeah, yeah, that's don't go to Walmart and Target and say that. No, do, do, guys, get, go to Walmart and Target, get the merch, and then say, Adam has a crush on Bambolino. No! Yeah, do it. Guys, that's embarrassing. This is the truth. Adam has a crush on Bambolino. <laughs> Okay, I don't know. Okay, what's going on, dude? Okay. Is that, what is Bambolina? It's a mix, I guess. Okay, okay, what's going on? What? Some grape jelly. So are they drinking like EXE? What? Why? Are they cursed? Yeah, they're trying to inject her with EXE. Oh, hey, yo! They took her color. It's like the Rainbow Friends. Who stole the Rainbow Friends color? Wait, now she's back to Bambolina. Oh. Why are they laughing? I don't understand. Here's Jumbo Josh again. Oof! Ouch! He, he turned him to an accordion! What's that? It's like an instrument. I'm oh. saying you gotta give Bambolina her color back. Nice! That makes a lot of sense. Okay, here we go. What's next? They're now back they're in the movies. Back. Okay, they're watching movies. Captain Fiddles saw something funny. We yeah. love going to the movies with our plushies, guys. Um, Adam wishes he could go to the movies with Bambolina. No, I don't! <laughs> That's a lie. Okay, they're having a hot dog eating competition. All right, sometimes Foxy and Justin have a Lanky Box kitchen eating competition. Oh, it's lit. And they both win. It's lit. Yeah. Okay, okay, the jellyfish left. Hmm. And he's going to the bathroom. Oh, okay, that's the bathroom? Yeah. Why'd he just, what? Oh. Okay, what was that? Okay. Hmm. Bam Bam's almost done. Okay, the jellyfish, why'd the jellyfish go to the bathroom? 
Maybe because they, I don't know. Oh, hey, yo. Oh, wow. He inhaled all of them. He inhaled Bam Bam and Bambolina and Captain Fiddles. Whoa, don't eat that much. What's going on, dude? Anyone? Oh, he won. Let's go, dude. Nice. And the bird is watching. Squirrel. The bird is arguing. Don't blink. Staring contest. Okay. I beat Adam at these all the time. Yeah, Justin's really good at those. Captain Fiddles versus the bird. Okay. Oh, the bird is zooming. Captain Fiddles losing everything to the bird. Oh, man. Losing everything. Oh, they're strong. Arm wrestling. They're doing go-karts. And oh, the bird hit put the up, turbo yeah, and beat him. And they're playing video games. Easy. Bird win again. Nice. Kevin Fiddle's raging. Nice, nice, nice. They're playing basketball. It's like me on the basketball court. Easy. Oh. Okay. Okay. Kevin Fiddle's laughing because he missed. He said, ha ha ha. <laughs> oh. Oh, the ball got stuck. Oh, it went in. Wow. So he won. He won. Okay. He's laughing. This he's is laughing. crazy. This is so crazy. Adam just wants to see Bamboo again. <laughs> see? Okay, he ran off. He's snoozing. Okay, the drone was hit bothering Captain Fiddles. So oh, wow. Chase the drone. They pressed the button. He's going down the, uh, the escalator. That's not good. Watch out for Jumbo Josh, man. Oh, no. Watch out for Jumbo. Why is he so shiny? I don't know, guys. He is really, really shiny. Oh, he woke up. Where is he now? He's at the bottom of the Jumbo Josh. What? He's in like a... A boxing gym. What? And there's Bambolina. Okay, he's got to fight Jumbo Josh. Oh, no. Who's going to win, guys? Jumbo Josh, easily. Sometimes Boxy likes boxing with Justin, guys. Oh, yeah. Watch out. Oh, he got yeeted. <laughs> wow, right away. He got yeeted by Jumbo Josh. Jumbo Josh is too strong. This is crazy. Re Oof. This is crazy. They must be fighting um, to for Bambolina's love. I don't think so, man. Adam, I, Adam would. I don't think so. I would, I would, would you I, fight Jumbo Josh for Bambolina? No, I wouldn't do that. I don't like fighting. Yeah. But you would do it for Bambolina? No, I Adam wouldn't. Crush on I, 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 I wouldn't do that, man. Whoa! He, he leveled up somehow. He's mega... Captain Fiddle. Now they're still fighting. And he punched Jumbo Josh! Wow! He just slammed Jumbo Josh. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Adam, um, oh, there's Mommy Long Legs now. And she's oh, shiny. Oh, she's, she's in the Garden of Ant Man. Okay, the bird's gonna oof, oof him like they oofed the player. Okay, here we go. I just want everyone to know. I read uh, Adam's diary. No, he didn't. Yeah. No, he didn't, guys. That's a lie. Because he hides it under thick boxy. I, <laughs> thick, man, how did you boxy, find that? Thick boxy says, I told Justin. So um, we read it, and he he said he wrote it. He said, I I wish I could fight Jumbo Josh and prove how strong I am to Bambolina. I. <laughs> oh, uh, okay, so what? <laughs> Man, who, who cares? Adam has a crush on Bambolina. Stop! Adam has a crush on Bambolina. Adam has a crush on Bambolina. <laughs> okay, now Boxy Boo is on his way to Choo Choo Charles. Boxy Boo must be looking for the Rainbow Friends because they got up there by Choo Choo Charles. It's like we're watching a Pixar movie. This is so cool. You wish you could watch a movie of Bambolina. <laughs> no, I don't, man. I just don't. I don't. Baby Foxy says, yes, you do, eh? We saw you in your diary. That's cat, Baby Foxy. Baby Foxy's not capable of lying. Guys, go to Walmart and Target. Get Baby Foxy. You call Baby Foxy a liar? No, I'm calling her, um, super cute. That's it. It's Pirate Boxy Boo. Watch out! Uh-oh. Yuck. That's the Poppy Playtime train. What, are they gonna run over Choo Choo Charles? Oh, they're on the train. This is like watching a movie. They go, hey yo. Whoa. Are they gonna blast Choo Choo Charles? Wow. Wow, they're blasting him. This is nuts. Wow! 
They stopped the train. How'd they make this video? That's crazy. Probably with crayons. Probably, yeah. Um, maybe markers. Boxy Boo just oof Eugene. Oh no. No! Say Eugene with the new jeans. It's the bird. Wait, they're here? What? That means Bambolina must be nearby. What? He moved the bird. Eugene ran away. <laughs> what? He oofed the bird. Jumbo Josh is not happy about that. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, there's Boxy Boo's running from something. Nice. Are you okay, Boxy Boo? What's in the treasure? Oh no. Maybe it's Bambolina. Afraid. Oh, she has a treasure. Oh, it's Boxy Boo in the box. It's in the box. So, so he's a treasure Boxy Boo. And Boxy Boo's gonna oof him? That is crazy, guys. They're in like a tomb. Okay. And where uh, and they actually escaped out of the Choo Choo Charles world. Okay, now the player from Poppy Playtime is fighting Mommy Longlegs for some reason. This feels like some sort of crazy dream. Wow. They're zooming. They're really zooming. That's insane. Like, they just got done beating Mommy Longlegs, and now they have to fight against Choo Choo Charles. Choo Choo Charles is a spider, so is Mommy Longlegs. Right, double spider. Yeah. Okay, what'd they find? Oh, they left their friend behind. No way. <clears throat> oh, the other friend is... Mommy Longlegs has him, the purple one. Save him! Wow. She jumped down to her spider nest. No way. What? This is so crazy. It's like I'm watching a movie. Oh, no way. Okay, they're gonna go save their friend. Cut their way out of the Choo Choo Charles web? They're cutting through the web. What, who's that? Oh, she webbed his friend. No. If someone webbed Justin, I would be so upset. It's his friend, nice. Get him out of there. Watch out! Get him out of there, we're Watch run. out, watch out! Get out of there! Ah! She oofed one of them! Uh-oh. What's gonna happen here, guys? He's angry. No, he's gonna oof mommy long legs. What? No, please no. Yikes. Oh, what? Uh-oh. 